Alrighty, Chef Buck here, and today we're going to mix this up a little bit of daikon salad. Now, if you've never used daikon, don't be intimidated by it. You know, it's big, white, and harmless, kind of the opposite of the uh, Nazi party. <laughs> I should use that line. It's bad. Uh, but anyway, look at it. Look how big this thing is. You know, when they get as large as a small child, but I'm using one here about the size of a rhinoceros's horn. I'm just cutting off the end. And then I'm going to peel it like I would a carrot, you know, and then you're going to end up with something that looks like a little, a unicorn's horn, but less magical. And this is basically a big old radish. You know, it's not tart and awful like those little red skin radishes. You know, it's mild. Uh, it's, it's just a nice texture and crunch. And we're going to cut it up into matchsticks, which is great for a salad. And then we're going to take a large carrot and cut it up into strings. I like to use my little zester. Get some nice string shapes, you know, because the keto salad, you know, is making nice mouth-friendly, eye-friendly pieces. Then I'm going to finally chop one inch of ginger. Use less if you like, but a salad is a great opportunity, you know, to get some healthy raw stuff in your system. Uh, about a half a head of small cabbage, you know, cut that up into friendly pieces. You know, two to three green onions, you know, I'm going to use three, but you can use four. You can't go wrong with onions in a salad. And then some salad cucumbers, you know. Thin skin, small seeds, you know, Japanese cucumbers, English cucumbers, whatever, you know. But salad cucumbers are just fantastic. And then we're going to grab a handful of cilantro and, you know, chop that up to about a half a cup. And then a hot pepper. And that's not optional. You know, use the damn hot pepper. You know, cut it up into nice pieces. And then we're going to put our pickling solution together. Half a cup of water, half a cup of vinegar little bit of sugar you know come on it's a salad you can afford a little bit of sugar and then salt to taste whatever mix that up and then we're going to go ahead and get all of our vegetables that we chopped together and put them in a ziploc bag you know just throw in your uh, hot pepper your onion your ginger and all that jazz but not the cilantro we're going to leave the cilantro aside because that gets kind of messy in the bag uh, throw in your solution there and it seems like a lot of liquid uh, but the thing is, the daikon is really going to absorb uh, this solution up, you know. So get all the air out of there and go ahead and mix up that uh, pickling uh, solution with your vegetables. And then we're going to go ahead and set it aside for one half hour at least. You know, if you don't have the time for that, you know, it's not going to kill you if you eat it right now. But the longer it sits around, the more it's going to absorb these flavors, you know. So if you can let it sit for a few hours, you know, that's even better. But while that's setting aside... We're going to go ahead and get some sliced almonds and a little bit of ramen noodle. And basically we're going to spread all that out on a pan and we're going to toast these up. Because that's going to make your salad taste really good, you know, because otherwise it's just going to be a bunch of vegetables, which is fine. But, you know, you throw a little bit of a uh, toasted noodle and some toasted uh, almonds in there, you know, it's going to elevate it. You know, it's going to trick your mouth into thinking that you're eating something other than a salad, you know. I mean, if that's what you're used to doing. Look at this, see? See, I'm putting some more almonds in here. You know, put as much as whatever it's going to take to make you eat this salad and be happy with it. So throw it in the oven at 350 degrees and keep your eye on it. You know, you want these things toasted, but they'll burn pretty quick, you know. So I got three to five minutes on here, but it's going to depend on your oven. You know, and get it out halfway between, mix it up, put it back in. But, you know, don't burn them because it's going to taste awful. So then when that's cooled down, when your nuts are cooled down, that doesn't sound right. But anyway, when your, <laughs> when your toasted stuff is cooled down, then you can go ahead and, and pull your vegetables, your salad out of the fridge. And you see all this liquid has been absorbed. And then we'll mix in our uh, almond slices and our ramen. And uh, we'll just toss it up here. And then that's basically it. You know, we just got to throw our cilantro in there uh, that we left out earlier. I don't know, if you do it in a bag, it just gets stuck on the inside of the bag. It ain't worth the hassle. Um, so that's it, a daikon salad, you know. This is, it just tastes fantastic. It's, it's a lot of great textures. You know, there's some good health going on here. And, uh, you know, it's a good way to use daikon. So you see, I served it here with a banh mi, you know, which is practically a sandwich with a damn uh, daikon salad on it. So there you go, daikon. It's uh, big, white, and harmless. Uh, so, you know, Go out to your shop and uh, pick one up. Give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think. And bon appetit, man.